It's time for another sweet craving. And this one takes the cake. <laughs> this is a surefire winner for your next cakewalk. <laughs> totally. I'm Chris. And I'm Wesley. A cake walk and live. <laughs> That's what I am. We're making cake. Yes. Yay. I love it. I love it. I love it. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. All right, so let's, let's jump in. Do it. Yes. All right. So the first things first, I'm actually running the show right now. Okay. Isn't that exciting? A fire. We've got two sticks of unsweetened butter and it is at room temperature. It's unsalted butter. Unsalted. What did I say? Unsweetened. unsweetened. <laughs> well, it's a, that's a half right. a cup. This is so hard, Chris. There it's we go. It's really not that hard. <laughs> okay. I'm a I make a mess doing this. Okay, so he's got, it's two sticks, that's a, a half a cup. Yeah. Uh, make sure it's at room temperature. It's best of all of your ingredients. You kind of plan ahead. All of your ingredients here are room temperature. <laughs> right. Okay. Yeah, and now I'm just going to turn this and cream this for about a minute. There okay. we go. All right, while he's doing that, <laughs> having fun with that, yeah. I've got uh, four ounces of sweet baking chocolate. I usually cook with unsweetened, but for the, I think this is perfect for German chocolate cake. Now I've got over here a half a cup of boiling hot water and uh, Mm. That is going to start to melt that chocolate. Remember, don't eat baking chocolate, kids. <laughs> well, this is sweet. So oh, it, is it, it okay? Would, it would taste a little better. But um, okay. All right, I you're think good. we're good. All right. So you're so. gonna you're gonna do that until it gets kind of light and fluffy. Yeah, it looks light and fluffy already. How's yep. that? Yeah. It's good. It's great. All right. So now I'm going to throw in my <laughs> sugar. This is a cup and three quarters of sugar. There we go, and I'm gonna cream this <laughs> some more. Isn't it fun to watch the loon cook? Okay. I'm so unsure of myself when it comes to baking. I well, really you're am. getting better, you're getting better. <laughs> so we're gonna let that go for about four minutes until it's light and fluffy, and this is completely melted. Yay. All right, look at Yay. how nice and creamy that is. <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna throw in four egg yolks. One at a time. Yes, and just so you know, you want to, that as that creams with the butter, with the sugar, it's going to turn a nice kind of pale color and get really nice and fluffy. Now, do I just do this like, like one when it's mixed in, then yep. throw in another Until one? it's fully incorporated. Okay, okay now okay. You, can you see over here, this is melted and it's just chocolatey and beautiful. I've got one cup of a room temperature buttermilk that I'm going to pour in here. Oh, I get it so excited. I'm going to eyeball this, but we're going to do um, a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And this is now your liquid mixture that we're going to add to the flour mixture. All right, just I've a got short one bit. more egg over here. There we go. Okay, the loon is cooking. <laughs> I've got a bunch of eggs over here. Okay, so now we're going to talk about the dry ingredients. Oh. Uh, we've got right. some flour here. What this is, is this is two and a quarter cups of cake flour. I mm. love using cake flour for cake just because it's really fine and it works great. If you don't have cake flour, you can go with all-purpose flour, no uh, problem. I, I also like to sift it, so I put it in my sifter, and then to that I add a teaspoon of baking soda and a half a teaspoon of salt and then I just whisk whisk away. If you don't have a, um, not whisk, I'm sorry, sift away. If you don't have a <laughs> sifter, we can't speak today. Um, no trouble. You, it's, what sifting does, it also just helps make it more aerated to make sure everything is really nicely combined. Okay, now we're yes. going to start combining our, Ooh, okay. this is when it gets really fun. We're going to yeah. make the batter. So we have our, like I said, we have our wet mixture and we have our dry mixture. We're going to do a third, a third of the dry. And then a half of that, and then a third of the dry, and the, the rest, rest of, of that, that, and then the rest of this. You got it. Oh, Get going. Okay. I How high do I to, put this on? Put the loon to work. I know. Medium is fine. Is that, that good? No, that, that, medium low. There. And then you just do just a third kind of, yeah, of this. Yeah. And this is right. totally eyeballing it. Oh, it's going to get poofy in here. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> it is an adventure. Okay. okay, hold on. Let me do that. You can turn it down. All right. All right. There we go. Okay. All right. So now we're going to add, and again, we're just eyeballing, but we're going to do just about half of this. Careful. I know. Flinging That's chocolate. That's why you don't need to have it so hot. <laughs> that would have been horrible. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. And then I'm going to do a third more. Okay. All right. Oh, look at that. Oh, I'm turn it on high. <laughs> look at that, y'all. That is gorgeous. Oh, oh. So we got all of the uh, the dry Yay. ingredients and the wet ingredients, and now it's a beautiful batter. Mm. I love a beautiful batter, but we're gonna make it even more beautiful because guess what we did? Remember we used those egg yolks in the batter before? We saved the egg whites, and so now we are going to make some soft peaks that is gonna make this thing so even, fluffy. Yes. So I've got those four egg whites right here, and then I'm gonna put in a quarter teaspoon of cream of tartar. And then I've got my trusty hand mixer here, and we're just gonna start mixing these things together. Mix it up! It is so much fun. I love 
<laughs> I love making soft peaks because it just transforms like I, a simple little something into the. I you, love them too. Give me a soft peak any day. I, I know. <laughs> I know. You know what's well anyway. When does the sugar go in? You can put the sugar in now. Okay. I love it. This sweetens it up a bit. So this is a quarter cup of just regular granulated sugar, and we're gonna keep doing this until we get soft, soft peaks. Soft peaks. <laughs> okay. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. So these are now what you call soft peaks. You can let them go even longer and then they get what they call stiff peaks. Um, we like soft peaks because, you know, we want them soft and these are going to be folded into this yes. beautiful batter over here. Should you want to throw some in there? Yeah, so we're going to do it and just do can it. Can I in just increments. use this thing? Yes, you can use all that. Right. Don't do all of it at once. All right, so and just, then just a little, do a little bit. Chunk, like a third of it. And okay. then just kind of fold, just gently fold that in. Oh, look. And we're going to keep stirring until there are no more white streaks. <laughs> Oh, okay, that, look at that. No streaks. That is going to be an amazing <laughs> batter. I tell you, it's going to be gorgeous. Here, I am so done. Okay. All right, so let me tell I've got over here, I, you are not done. You're far from done. Okay, so we've got two pans over here. These are two nine-inch cake pans, straight-edge cake pans. A lot of people do these. They do three layers, which is really cool. We like the two layers. Um, but I just, I don't want my cake to stick. Do this three is, if you want to. Do three if you want. I mean, you can do four. But anyway, um, they're going to be really thin. So. Back to this. So <laughs> I don't like my batter to stick when it's baking, and no, this is a good nobody moist, does. moist batter. So I'm going to do a little double duty here. I've got some parchment paper that I've cut out in a circular uh, formation, and then what I did was I just sprayed the cooking uh, some cooking spray all over the bottoms and the sides of each pan, placed that uh, parchment paper in there, and then just for good measure, I added a little more uh, cooking spray, and then I put a little flour there in there. There you go. That's probably I think overkill. You're good. That's overkill, but I just don't want to. Um, all right. Okay. There you go. There you go. I'm done. I'm leaving. Bye. <laughs> no, you're not. No, you're not. You've got lots more to do. I'm so, so now, horrible at baking. You are not. I you're am. good. I you are good. You are multi-talented. <laughs> oh, thanks. Did you know that the German chocolate cake isn't actually German? Oh, it's no. Not. I didn't. <laughs> Talk about a segue. No, it just... Um, <laughs> It, That's why I'm done. It, it is actually, I, I'm out of here. I didn't know that. No, it, it, it's apparently, it's it's a guy that made, his last name happens to be German. Oh. And it's an American I, creation. I, and uh, I think I once said, oh, we're having German food tonight. We're going to have German chocolate cake as dessert. Oh, wow. And I was reprimanded for that. I'm sure. It was because it's, it was not accurate. Well, I'll tell you what my favorite part of the German chocolate cake is. Yes. Is the frosting. I know, I know. And I we're know. about to get to that just in, in a moment. Okay. All right. So good? now we've got our oven preheated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. I'll take these. Okay, and you're going to take those, put those yes. in. And we're going to get started on that filling that, like Wesley said, that is his all-time favorite. The filling and, it, and the frosting. The filling and the frosting. Okay, <laughs> so let me turn on my, uh, we are just moving right along. Yeah, okay. I love okay. it. I love so it. So now what we are going to do is I've got a stick of butter. This doesn't That's have to be chilled. For. And um, thank you. I'm going to be using that oh, okay. my helper. Oh, well, I thought you were leaving. <laughs> okay, and then we've got a cup of evaporated milk that we're adding, and then we've got a cup of sugar. This is just heavenly. This is the most heavenly frosting And then we've got ever. three egg yolks. And I am now, I am going to use this, and I am just going to stir this <laughs> until it gets nice and bubbly. Okay, this is beautiful. That, so now, so what happens? I know, I know. So uh, you see how it's bubbling. So once it starts to bubble like that, let it go for like another minute or so, and it'll start to, to thicken up. Okay, so now I'm going to turn this off the heat. Now we're going to add those classic mm, flavor enhancements if it. I can not drop it. I've got a cup and a half of sweetened flaked coconut, mm. yum, and I then I got it. a cup and a half of chopped pecans. Yum. Oh, this is just amazing. Oh, this is, that's what it all just This is like, what it all mm. just brings it all together. But we're, we're not even done no. with that. We're going to do more that you'll see in a little bit. Okay, yeah. so now this is, um, it still, it seem, may seem kind of like thin and as Wesley would say, runny, um, <laughs> but there, it will thicken as it cools. Hold on, let me help you out here. So now we're just, we just need to transfer this to yes. a bowl. You don't want it spread a little bit yeah, so it you, cools quicker? Yeah, yeah. Okay. And so I don't think I mentioned yeah, earlier that the, the cake that goes for uh, 30, about 30, 35 minutes in the oven um, until, you know, you do the toothpick test and it comes out clean. So that's why I like to do this now. So by the time the cake cools, this is cooled as well. Mm-hmm. Oh, 
Okay, so those have been going for about 30 yes. minutes. They're about ready. You see, this is already thickening up. It's going to be perfect. Perfect. Right, I'm going to move this over here. All right, let's get those cakes out. Let's get them out. They should be good. <laughs> oh, I love making cake. Ooh, wow. Look oh, at that. Wow. Beautiful. That's wonderful. You know, and it, you may see when you're putting in that batter, Wesley was very concerned the first time. Um, all right, let me do the old toothpick yes. test. Clean as a bell. Yeah. Um, I was saying that when you pour that batter in, it, Wesley was like, that's not the right color. It's so light. I know. <laughs> but it darkens. It really darkens totally. as, it, as it bakes. Okay, so All now right. we need to let these uh, rest for 10 minutes yeah. before we invert them. So now let's go ahead and make, make some, some icing. More icing. We need to add a little chocolate yes, icing to exactly. this. Exactly. All right. So in this bowl, I have some melted butter, a whole stick of it. And then we have two thirds a cup of unsweetened cocoa. Oh, powder. yes, cocoa powder. Yeah, well, yeah. everybody could see that that's a powder. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just going to whisk, whisk, whisk this together. The loon is really, you can just go ahead and whisk. It's I know. so delicate. <laughs> I don't want to get powder or cocoa everywhere. And it's not good for dogs. Do not give your dogs cocoa or at chocolate. all or chocolate yeah, yeah, yeah. or anything like that. All right, is that good? I think so. Just right. kind of here, let me all give right. it a little. All right, give it a whoosh. He's, I, I think he's. <laughs> Okay. All right. You're there. You want to get See, it nice. Much better at this than I. Am. Well, you're you're getting you're getting you're doing good. <laughs> Hold on. Let me get. Let me. I'm gonna put this. I, oh, sorry. Thank okay. you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. All right. Now we're going to. Oh, forget about it. That worked out really yeah, well. Forget about it. All right. Now we're gonna throw in. This is a, a half a cup of milk. We just want to pour in half right now, and then there. That's good. And then we're gonna do half of this. This is. Three cups, right, of confectioner's sugar or powdered sugar. And I'm just going to throw in about a half of that so that we can get it incorporated. And then I'm going to throw in the rest of that. Is that good, Chris? That's good. That's good. So All this right. is just one of those things you eyeball. Some people like their uh, icing to be literally almost like fudge. Some people like it thinner. Whatever is the right consistency, just keep mixing, adding more milk. We're going to probably add all of this powdered sugar, but you may want to add even more milk to get it a little thinner. Yeah. Oh, all right. Look I at that. It. Hold on. Hold on. Let me get. Oh, that okay. is wonderful. Oh, so wow. not everyone adds chocolate icing to their uh, German chocolate cake, but I think it's it just adds another layer of delicious chocolate flavor. <laughs> yes, it and does. The way we're going to show you to decorate it, it's beautiful. Okay. <laughs> These have been uh, resting. They're just hanging out here for about 10 minutes. Um, that's good. Now you're going to see here that they have kind of already started to pull away from the sides of the pan. All right. That's what we like. I'm going to go ahead and just invert this This always one. makes me nervous. This is a little nervous. This nerve is why I'm not a good baker. I get too nervous. But you know what? Even if it, even if you have some that gets left behind <laughs> or it doesn't quite all come off the you pan. You can fix it. We're icing it so you can easily <laughs> fix it. Don't even fret That's about it. That's perfect. Flip it. Okay. Well, let's see how we're doing. <gasps> Beautiful. Yay! Yay! <laughs> All right, so we're gonna. I'm gonna flip this. We're gonna let these rest until they completely cool, and then we're gonna we're bring gonna... this baby home. Yes. <laughs> oh, perfect, perfect. So oh, these are now completely cool. It took cooled. a long time. No, it didn't. It took about 30 it minutes. It took a long time when you have frosting sitting in front. I, of you. Well, that's, that's true. <laughs> so you may notice these little white spots. That's just where the flour was on the bottom of the pan. No big deal. This moved very easily. It baked perfectly. Sometimes, if I feel like it's a little unsteady, I'll use a couple of spatulas just to help move it over here. Right. But we've got our lovely cake pan. This is um, our filling now has completely cooled. So I'm going to use half of it. And I'm going to do half of it in the middle here mm. and then the other half on top. Mm. OK, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Mm. So now we could stop right there for all I care. I know, I know. But I'm, <laughs> you know what? I'm not going to stop right there. All right. So now we're going to put this layer on Make top. Make sure it's, it's on there good. So there we beautiful. go. Beautiful. Oh, I'm just so wow. excited. Now, you mm. may be wondering what we're going to do with this chocolate icing. Uh, the loon is going to show you in just a moment. But what we're going to do is we're, well, I'll go ahead and tell you. Now, we're going to go <laughs> ahead and ice the sides with the chocolate. And then we're going to pipe some icing around yeah. the top. So we don't need this layer to go all the way to the edges. Okay. Oh my gosh. This is just, <laughs> that's this a is pile like, of that. Talk about I love it. an award winning cake. Yes. Now, like I said, you don't have to do this, but why not? I yes. mean, it's just, so now we're going to um, ice the sides. Wow. <laughs> look at that. Look at that. 
So now also, um, you see the sides, how they're nice and smooth. What I did is I took uh, the little spatula and I just went around the side and kind of scooped off all the extra. And that looks kind of like a almost professional. Well, it take. really does. It, it really <laughs> it takes that kind of like homemade look and it just elevates the totally. appearance of it. All, all right. right, I'm going to start piping on my little... I guess stars. Is yeah, what they're they are. Look at Wesley's that. become like quite the accomplished piper. Oh, look at how cute that is! It's really beautiful. You don't have to do this, of course. Oh, it's fun. But it just adds a beautiful touch. You know, people always say, "How have you and Wesley lasted so long?" And it's because we make cakes together. <laughs> Find the person you love and make a cake. You'll either <laughs> regret it or you'll love it. Yeah, or have somebody else do the work for you. <laughs> And ladies and gentlemen, we have the winner of the cakewalk. I mean, yes. that is spectacular. You Look at that. I love the little pipe. You did a really good job. Yes. All right, I am digging into this, baby. All right. You know how I get nervous always cutting the first slice. That's all right. You cakes, always get nervous. Cakes are easier than pies, I'll tell you that much. Oh, it's oh, so just cut. beautiful. Yeah, cut and bring that baby over to me. I'm going to. All right, come on out. Come to daddy. You're good. You're good. Oh. You're good. Beautiful. That's all right. A little broke off. <laughs> That's all right. Oh, Ooh, y'all. Y'all. That all right. is gorgeous. Hold on. I got to show everybody this. <gasps> look at the frost. Look, I love the color of that cake. I know. I know. And look at the, the innards right there. Uh, I think it's I'm going to. Absolutely gonna... beautiful. <laughs> the I should have given you this cake piece. Oh, no. This is just fine, Chris. That's what happens when it's such a delicious cake. I know. All right. I'm going in. I know. Well, let me go into it. I got to go into it. <laughs> Oh. Mm. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Mm. Oh. That mm. is it. Mm. Mm. That is a German chocolate cake at its best. Oh. Mm. Cake, 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 cake. 1,000% Luna proof. I'm yes. sorry, y'all. Mm. You guys be happy. Make mm. cake. This is a winner. That's right. It's not German, but we love it. I'll be the same. <laughs>